pretty nicely. I would just like to show you my new luggage tag. It's a cupcake, how cute is that? Hello everybody, I hope that you are well. My name is Christiane and welcome to Backpacking Bananas. And if you can't tell, I am going somewhere. I am packing up because I'm about to get onto a plane and I'm going to be going to a country which I have never ever been to before. Now arguably, someone from the UK who travels across the world, it's almost a bit of a crime that I've never been to this country. <laughs> Here's my scratch map. I've been to Australia, New Zealand, Thailand, many places in Europe, Mexico, Colombia. I have never been to this little country here, also known as Ireland. So I'm going to be going for five days and I'm going to take you along with me. I have an evening flight with British Airways and I've just got hand luggage only, um, but that's totally fine. I'm bringing my Rip Curl suitcase, which is 35 litres. That'll go in the overhead bin. And then I'm bringing that brown bag there, which will go on my back. And that should be fine for luggage, actually just packing my bag. I actually had room to spare. It was totally fine fitting everything into a hand luggage only. Luckily, it is May, which means that it's not going to be too cold in Ireland, hopefully. <laughs> um, so I don't have to pack too many layers. Um, honestly, I don't even know that much of what I'm going to be doing there, but I'm going to be staying with my friend. We'll just see what we get up to and I will take you along with me in this vlog. My lovely mother has given me a lift to the airport. Have you ever been to Ireland, Mum? Oh uh, yeah, I went to Dublin a few years ago. Oh, did you actually? I Wait, did, yeah, I did. Who did you go with? With my old school friend, Louise. Oh, did you enjoy it? Yeah, I loved it. Any recommendations? Oh God, I couldn't possibly remember. <laughs> <laughs> Can you do... It was far too many years ago. <laughs> Can you do an Irish accent? Uh, to be sure, to be sure. To be sure, to be sure. I think that's my best attempt as well. I'm in the car on the way to the airport and we've got 33 miles to go. That's the lie we only have about three miles to go. Terrible. Well, hopefully, when I come back, I will have improved on that um, Irish accent. Uh, I'll, I'll be the judge. <laughs> that cars now have to pay five pounds to drop people off. Five pounds just to drop someone at the airport, not even to park and go in, literally just to drop someone off. I find it outrageous. <laughs> gonna get the Dublin Express which runs every half an hour except as I was literally walking up to the bus it went away meaning that I would have to wait another half an hour for a bus um, and I just can't be bothered to wait that would have been seven or eight euros so I'm just gonna get an uber instead just so I can head straight there because it's kind of late and the uber into the center of the city is gonna cost like 25 euros so it's a fair bit more but I'm just being impatient <laughs> everybody from Dublin. I'm here with Will. We're just out on a morning walk. Will's just giving me a, a very quick scope of the city centre with a coffee. Um, <laughs> with a lot of knowledge. A lot of knowledge. It was about years of experience being a tour guide. Here we are at the Bank of Ireland. I personally own this bank and I'm Irish so come on down to my bank and you get a free account. <laughs> <laughs> I know nothing about this building. <laughs> what kind of a tour guide are you? Yeah. One that's caffeinated heavily. And stuff like here, which obviously has a harp on it, which is the symbol of Ireland. And then symbol of course of over there, we have Connacht. Oh, it's uh, actually named after a Lord Connacht. There's also a circle after Mendeley as well. But anyway, Connacht has uh, four or five counties to the west of Ireland. It's the most, uh, the least populated part of Ireland. It's place to buy a house in Ireland. Uh, but obviously the best place to visit as well, because you've got a lovely, rugged, wild Atlantic Way coastline. Lots of like, natural beauty and, and assets for the country, so... Highly recommend taking a trip down to Galway. If you are coming to Ireland as a backpacker and you want to stay in a hostel, Will does have a few recommendations. Cool. I've worked for a few. Two of the main ones in the city are Generator Hostel, of course a well-known and established chain with hostels all over the world. And the second one is Jacob's Inn Hostel. Lots of beds, good social calendar. It's a little bit more in the north side of the city. Uh, whereas generators are more of the kind of quieter and upcoming part of Smithfield. 
Uh, both are pretty good, but help you book amazing tours, and uh, the front desk staff are always really, really professional. And you'll be safe as well. Come to Phoenix Park, which is the biggest park in the biggest enclosed park in all of Europe. Uh, oh, is it actually in all of Europe? Yeah. Wow, it's World Park, yeah. what a claim to fame! Um, on first impressions, it's actually reminding me a fair bit of Richmond Park in London, and we are walking up some steps now to the Statue of Liberty. <laughs> oh, we can see some deer running. Can you see them? Guinness is one of the best pints of Guinness in Dublin. Fact. Really? One of the best pints of Guinness in Dublin in Jackie's Dublin, which Will owns. He also owns the bar across the street called Antisocial. An entrepreneur, some they say. Why make videos sober when you can make them drunk? You may have heard of the English breakfast, but have you heard of the full Irish breakfast? It looks exactly the same! There's literally no difference. There should be more potato here, actually. Potatoes! <laughs> Lovely. just landed in Wexford and we are about to have a delicious steak on the stone. This is a long drive so we're treating ourselves. Christiana is currently doing a bondage dominatrix sex machine <laughs> test <laughs> to it's figure out what her well. lovely quirks and kinks are. Uh, does she like being dominated or is she the dominator? Who knows? Does she like being tied up or being the tire? Mm. These are things that we'll find out today. <laughs> No, we won't. No, we won't. Why do I look like a small boy beside you? Hello, I'm Christian Sun. And I'm a small little boy. So we're just leaving Wexford now. down to Slade Harbour. How gorgeous. All right, so they've given us wetsuits, five millimeters thick. Whoa. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. 
That was a fucking nightmare trying to get these things on. Not the best of stages. Oh, God. That's so cute. Yeah, I don't know how steering was. Irish people are so nice. Weird. Yeah, weird. Yeah. Like, everyone's just so friendly here. No one knows anyone, but you're just so friendly to each other. I wish we were like that in the UK. Now, I do have my GoPro with me, and they've given me uh, either a chest mount or I can maybe mount it to the helmet. Um, so I'm going to give one of those a go. So hopefully you'll see what we get up to. I'm going to leave this camera in the car now. was absolutely brilliant so much fun and um, my GoPro ran out of battery quite early on but the jumps just kept getting higher and higher and it like, just escalated quite quickly we ended up jumping off 10 meter cliffs by the end so much fun but one of the guys who runs the Irish experience he came to take photos of us so if we've got any good ones I'll put them in the video now um, and unexpectedly they are now going to be serving hot chocolate and biscuits so cute so just heading back to the van now got changed obviously gonna have some hot chocolate it's hot chocolate there's a penguin mm. it, it makes you feel things less slippy because you look at it yeah. whereas it's when you put on it Okay, I'm back in the car. And the next stop is... We're going to Hook Lighthouse. Oh, Hook Lighthouse. We're going to have a little the, look at the that. Oldest, Hook Lighthouse is the oldest continuously operating lighthouse in the world. In the world. And we, we could see it from the coast steering. So we're just going to go and have a take a closer look now before heading off on a long journey. There it is, the famous Hook Lighthouse. It's actually, uh, we, we can't go to the cafe or anything because it's closed because it's past 5 p.m. But that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> but at least we can say we've seen it. By the port in Oh, oh Lord of the Rings music sound theme. Oh, so nice. Okay. We are driving to Cork this evening, but we have stopped off in a town called Dungarvey. Dungarvey, yeah. Dungarvey. Um, and we're just having some fish and chips as the sun goes down Bizy, what for fun. our dinner, which is yeah. very, very nice. So, we are in... Dunmanway in West Cork. Dunmanway in Western Cork. The home of Sam McGuire, who I'll show you now. Come on. <laughs> what, are you going to show me Sam McGuire? Sam McGuire here in the statue. All right, okay. The father of the Gaelic Athletic Association, or the father of all <laughs> Irish sports. Right, oh. Want a coffee? Yes. Yeah. Dyson coffee. Uh, Dyson. Miss Dyson. <laughs> so, you see where, uh, the, see where it says to me up there? Yeah. So that is the old uh, Mara house back like 18, 1890, I maybe know. earlier. Right. So we used to live in the square. I'm not sure. I think you we used to live in this square? The family did, like obviously like four generations back, but uh, it was a butcher's. We were butchers. Mm. And then someone's moved out to have a farm and that's where we couldn't get up to earlier. You may be wondering why we are in the little town of Demanway and Will, his family are from here. And you grew up here before moving to Dublin. Will can make a connection with pretty much everyone in the town, somehow related. <laughs> what was it? The girl, the girl who gave us coffee. Her, your cousin oh, does, yeah, does yeah. her windows. <laughs> yeah, my cousin lives on a farm next to the farm where they're building a house. And <laughs> my cousin's boyfriend is making windows for her new house. There's always a way. There's always There's a way. Always a way. And what I have particularly noticed in this part of Ireland is the accent. Oh my goodness, the man fishing this morning, George. 
Like, I could hardly understand a word he was saying. It was like... It's a, it is an abnormally thick accent. The it, West Cork accent is very difficult to I, decipher. They all, they all think I'm posh because I'm from Dublin. <laughs> I, I don't think I've actually ever heard an Irish accent like that before. Oh, it's going to get way thicker. All right. So let's see. <laughs> We're now in the town of... Clonakilty. Clonakilty. The home of Michael Collins. The home of Michael Collins. Now, Michael Collins was a very interesting guy. You can see all about him in a movie called, well, Michael, Michael Collins. Michael Collins, played, played by... Ninety-six, played by Liam, Liam Neeson. Neeson. Um, and in it, it shows the struggle for Irish independence and then the resulting civil war between those who were happy with what we got and those who wanted an entire island for mm. the Republic of Ireland. Um, and essentially, he was shot at a place called Bail na Blaw. Um, by his own people, by the Irish people, but those who had a different opinion. So during the Civil War, um, those on the other side set up uh, an ambush and, uh, and he was shot. His last I need words to were, watch this movie. What's his last words? His last words were like, the fuck is trying to shoot me or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> but there you go, a so, bit of history. So this, this town is where he's from, where his house is. Very nice, very cute. <laughs> Next stop, current stop, Skibbereen. Skibbereen is a cute little West Cork town, also based on the Wild Atlantic Way. Uh, I used to come here a lot when I was a kid because there's loads of lovely beaches nearby. This road trip is essentially, let's take a trip down memory lane of Will and his childhood. Pretty much. <laughs> but all the businesses in this town, all the buildings are all painted a different kind of pastel colour. So you kind of feel like you're walking through like if you ever see that pastel multicolored picture of Pyongyang, except obviously this isn't North Korea. But it's just such a beautiful multicolored. You'll see, we'll show you some of this. <laughs> Hi guys, we're here today in like the West Park Hotel in Skibbereen and this is where we have a uh, lovely hot flat white coffee on the way um, it's going to be great because we're going to put sugar in it and then we're going to drink it and then go driving again. Is that you trying uh, to I'd do love to hear accent? your questions in the comments below. Smash that subscribe button and uh, <laughs> see you guys next week. What cheese are you going to get? You're bringing one of these back with you. Am I? This stuff is pure gold. <laughs> what is it? Absolute fucking gunpowder. <laughs> Great cheese, best cheese in the world. Will says that like in Cork, like West Cork specifically, West Cork specifically you can cheese. get the best local Irish cheeses, which is like the best cheese in the world, according to the Irishman. Sorry for the ridiculous jump cut, but I am now back in Dublin. This morning at like 6 a.m. we set off from West Cork and drove all the way from Dunman Way back here to Dublin and I'm currently in Will's apartment but he's not here, he's already gone to work today but I am just about to leave to head back to the airport to fly to London. But what a time it's been in Ireland. First of all, I have to thank Will so much. I don't even think I realised at the beginning of this video if I've told you how Will and I know each other. So if you've been following the channel for a while, you might recognise him because he has been in a couple of videos before back in Mexico. So Will and I met right at the beginning of both of our times in Mexico in October 2020 and we found ourselves being in a lot of the same spots over the six months that we were both there so we became really close friends and Will has been running expeditions in Pakistan for the past four or five years. He is who I will be traveling with to Pakistan this summer and running the expeditions that we're going to be doing so you will be seeing a lot more of him which is great because he's just been the best tour guide ever so thank you Will. And Will actually owns two bars here in Dublin so Antisocial Dublin and Jackie's Dublin and they're both super fun and awesome so if you would like to support him and his businesses definitely go check them out it was so much fun I went to both of them on the first night I was it no not the first night the second night that I was here um, so yeah as for Ireland and my first impressions so I feel like it is very, very similar to England. I didn't realize quite how similar I thought it was gonna be just in, I don't know, like the way the roads were, like it just really felt like you were driving in the UK, but I guess that makes sense. We do have a common travel agreement, so there is gonna be a lot of similarities between Ireland and the UK. The biggest difference is the people, I would just say in general, just super, super friendly. Anyone will talk to you on the street, um, in a shop, everyone is just, 
mega mega friendly and it was just the most heartwarming thing and especially heading down to west cork and those southern counties there's such like a warm community vibe which i absolutely loved i feel like i do need to spend more time in dublin i of course would love to return to ireland and i'm sure i will at some point now that i've broken the ice and come here once it took less than an hour the flight so i'm sure i'll be back over again and i'd like to spend more time in london and actually do like a walking tour and maybe the guinness brewery tour because just those classic touristy things that you need to do when you're in dublin but i'm so pleased that i got to you know actually see the countryside of ireland on this trip like i mentioned at the beginning of this video i didn't even know what i was going to be doing when i'm here so yeah that was really really good but anyway i'm going to finish the video here because i feel like it's been quite a long one i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next one i don't, really don't know what that's going to be but whatever it is i will see you then bye bye